All right, so here's a video if your grill um, electric igniter isn't working. So if you have the igniter here, there's actually a battery inside. So depending how you have it, it might be screwed on or it might be like this. There's a twist cap. You just grab it, twist it, and then you can pull it out, okay? So make sure to check the battery. There's different types of batteries. This one has a AAA battery in it. And look inside. I don't think you can see, but... Make sure here, yeah, make sure the inside's not corroded. So hopefully you can actually see that, but it's nice and shiny in there, so that's okay. Um, this piece, the end cap, I don't think you can see it, but this end cap piece, let's turn on some flash. So it's all corroded. I tried to clean it as best as I could with what I had, um, but you wanna use like white vinegar. Just put some white vinegar inside here, let it sit for a while, and then after that, It'll be cleaned up this is what the old battery looked like it was disgusting so that's why it wasn't working so grab a new battery sorry grab a new battery make sure you put it the right way you can actually try both ways but this one I think the flat end goes that way and what you do then you just twist it around until it drops back in place okay there we go and then twist it all the way so when you push this now you can actually hear it clicks um, another issue this thing has is this metal. I don't know if it was like broken or just the fire itself was strong enough to damage this. And then the other thing is these little metal rods in here. You have to move them around. These ones weren't like in place properly. So you want to get it lined up just right so that way when you push it, you can see it sparks. Okay. Um, and this metal piece, I'm not sure if they sell replacements, but because the metal's like all eaten up there, um, I don't know if that's by design or the fire was too hot or somebody like thought it was messed up or purposely destroyed this. But if you extend this out so that it's completely flat, then it works okay. So what I did, um, I don't know if you can buy replacements of this metal piece. I don't know what kind of metal they use here that's strong enough to take that heat. But when I put this paper here and then if I turn it on into lighting mode and then do this. Come on. Uh-oh. There we go. So see, now it's started. So, I mean, you can't really see the fire, but it's definitely start. It's burning. There you go. <laughs> okay. So we need to figure out a way to fix that metal piece. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be. I don't have a new one of this grill. If somebody knows, let me know. But um, the way it's broken, it's not smooth. So I'm assuming that it's not supposed to be like that. But yeah. Okay. So hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe. Take a look at my other videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. But yeah, if your grill thing isn't working, that's most likely it's either one. First, you want to check the battery. The battery will probably fix most people's problems. And then after that, you can check these things. But yeah, if yours isn't even making the clicking sounds, it could be the box in here. I didn't take this out. Or I did take this out just to look at it. But this big piece, it unscrews. Um, I'm not going to take it out, but once you unscrew that, you can actually push it through the bottom here. Um, on this grill, let me zoom out, you have to pull out this tray, but uh, when you pull it out from the bottom, you can actually, I don't know if you can even see in the video, but you can pull it through that hole there. Um, but yeah, most likely you won't have to replace that. It's most likely going to be the battery or this sparking mechanism here. You might have to adjust that rod down there or replace this metal piece. Um, and yeah, I don't know if you can put a metal plate or ceramic or something just over the top just to keep it um, in place just to make a flat like triangle here so that way when the gas goes out it actually curves into this box. Yeah, and hopefully, okay, well anyways, hopefully this video helps you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!